Yes, thank you once again, and sorry for I, if I have made any faults here. Uh, I'm happy here to. I'm very happy to be able to talk a little bit about our knowledge hub in animal farming and some uh, other uh, aspect as well. We can go to the next slide. As I was saying, I'm going to talk a little bit about the background, the start of our of our knowledge hub, the concept of it, the strategic plan, and the goal of it and some other activities supporting ACIS by the CAP network and a little bit about innovation. Next, please. And the development of uh, our knowledge hub should be seen in the light of the different deficiencies within the Swedish agriculture knowledge system. Several reports have identified uh, lack of cooperation between actors, lack of compilation and dissemination of knowledge, lack of interaction between researchers, advisors, and farmers, and so on. And in the study on the future design of the knowledge exchange and dissemination of information for the strategic plan, it, put, it was pointed out that we should use the measurement to create better conditions for the knowledge flows. Next, please. And in the beginning of this year, our government decided to establish a knowledge hub for animal farming as a way to deal with these deficiencies. The hub has national funding. Uh, the hub is placed at RISE, a, Sw a Swedish research institute. Next one, please. And what exactly does this knowledge hub mean? Well, the overall objective is to act as an impartial knowledge center to reduce the distance between research and practice. There are five different goals, top activities. And the first one is compilation and dissemination of knowledge. The second, strengthening of collaboration and knowledge exchange between the stakeholders. Uh, initiating systematic inventories initiating tests and evaluations, and improving integration of advisors within the ACIS. Next one. And in detail, what does it mean? Well, for example, for goal number one, it means that uh, the hub should publish news, articles, thematic information on a web-based hub, as well as films and podcasts. And the hub will work closely with the advisors to compile and spread the right knowledge. For goal number three, it means, for example, to make inventories on the needs with the actors. One upcoming event is a workshop on bond construction and the needs there. The hub will also give us, the managing authority, uh, the analysis made, and we can use that in our work, which I will talk about uh, very soon. Next one, please. And this area, animal farming, is prioritized. Is a prioritized area in our strategic plan as well. Uh, we have planned for further initiatives supported by the CAP this time with animal farming. We have approximately 100 million Swedish crowns in knowledge exchange and dissemination of information, and cooperation measurement, and eventually. Eventually, we will also have thematic calls within EP Agri with these, um, with the, within this area. And these coming open calls and calls for tender will be based on the inventories made by the Knowledge Hub in cooperation with relevant actors within the sector. And with funding from the previous period, we have actually also started another Knowledge Hub, a pilot hub, a smaller one. And Another area that is prioritized is business management and entrepreneurship. And we would like to test if this concept and method of a knowledge hub also will work on that area. Uh, but back to the knowledge hub of animal farming. Well, we can go to the next slide and the goals. And we see the hub as a strategic important initiative, which will strengthen productivity, profitability and competitiveness within the Swedish sector for animal farming. 
The hub will gather national and international research and knowledge and make it accessible for farmers and advisors. The experts in the hub uh, will curate the knowledge and present it in the web-based hub, divided into subjects such as barn construction, different animals, milk and egg. And we believe that this is a good example of how to strengthen in ACIS, increased implementation of knowledge and methods supporting innovation, is ACIS. I would also, and we can go to the next slide, I would also like to talk a little bit about other activities supporting ACIS and focus on some activities carried out by the CAP network. Every year, our CAP network uh, has a conference called Meeting Point ACIS. It is held online and usually has a specific theme. Last year, the focus was on funding possibilities available through the different authorities. <clears throat> and the network has a specific analysis group for ACIS. The group consists of 10 different actors within ACIS. They, get, they gather around 10 times a year and together they identify needs and challenges within, for example, the knowledge exchange and the flows. And the group tries to develop ACIS through international cooperation and networking. An innovation coach is employed to lead the work with these activities. And the next slide on innovation. The CAP network here in Sweden has four innovation brokers who offer support in the early stages of projects. They can, for example, give guidance on how to design the project and give advice on research results. And approximately twice a year, the CAP network arrange network groups meetings for the project owners where also the managing authority and paying agency also participate. The network, of course, uh, do a lot of communication work as well. They have a database of all the projects and have also created and, sp and spreading interesting articles of some extra good examples of innovation projects. And even the managing authority uh, has done some dissemination of innovations uh, we and some of the innovation project, projects was a part of the Swedish pavilion at Agritechnica some weeks ago. Uh, many thanks for your attention.